With me here in the studio is Knesset member Alon Schuster. Thank you very much for coming, uh, Mr. Schuster. Um, Israeli politics is a bit complicated, so let me let me just explain to our audience. You're a member of Benny Gantz's uh, party, the National Unity uh, Party, and you joined the Netanyahu's government just in order to run the uh, war cabinet. Okay. Uh, actually, you don't agree about anything else with this government, <laughs> uh, quite safe to say, and also you are a resident of southern Israel that was devastated on October 7th. We'll talk about that. Okay. Now, after all this, how are you these days? Well, um, as all in the, in the last uh, four months, very sad, but um, functioning because we have no other ways. Um, many, many dozens of the members, the comrades of the kibbutzim and moshavim surrounding me, uh, my, my neighbors, my friends uh, got killed, uh, got massacred, um, and thousands of my, my friends are refugees in our home. In, in their our own state, country. Yeah. In, in our country. Um, but uh, we are hoping to to come back soon. I'm actually I'm living I'm, I, in, in Kibbutz Mefalsim, uh, less than a mile from the border. I didn't leave any any time all the time. So you're I'm still there. there. You're still I'm there. there with now with my wife and her uh, mother uh, and maybe 10 percent of the population of the inhabitants of my my kibbutz. But uh, my son and his family and others are out of the the kibbutz uh, in a hotel here in the center of Israel. Uh, my other son is uh, is a member of the of the fighting crew, the emergency crew of Kibbutz Mefalsim, um, and the third one who fought in October 7th is now in the army, back to the West Bank. So everything is very, very personal for you, yeah. except for the politics and everything else. Now there's a negotiate. They have negotiations in, in Cairo as we speak about the possible hostage deal. You are in this government, which uh, the extreme right part of this government is very vocal against a deal. What do you say about that? I'm saying that um, we have some goals um, to achieve in this campaign. Um, more important in, in, uh, in right now is uh, having the possibility to bring back the hostages. They have no time. Um, and, uh, and still, we will push and press on our enemies any day, any week, any month, in the in the future, uh, but when we are looking to the two goals, um, eliminating the Hamas governing governance in in in, uh, in Gaza, and uh, enabling to, to to bring back our uh, friends, our uh, brother and sister, uh, no doubt no doubt there is a, a superiority um, uh, goal. To give to to bring them back. Uh, the other or the third um, goal is to bring us back to the to our communities, to the to kibbutzim, yeah. to the moshavim. Yeah, we'll talk about that also. Uh, but uh, getting back to the hostage deal, a, a deal like this will almost certainly uh, include uh, some sort of end of fighting or a very long ceasefire. You you name it. Is this a, a, a price to pay? Yes, of course, as we make in November, when we um, could bring back uh, more than 50 um, Israelis, uh, the, the, the deal, the agreement uh, will involve uh, not the end of the, of the campaign of the war, uh, but stopping uh, like a phase, like a uh, in interruption of of the of the war, and of course we will have to to pay um, in in some um, prisoners that are um, in, staying in Israel. This is something that we have to know that we must do uh, in order to recover uh, the the faith that was crushed. To, to ground uh, in, in October 7th, the faith in our own uh, security forces, and uh, we must not do 
another mistake. We should not sacrifice uh, more Israelis that are now um, held in, uh, in, in, in Gaza. And I'm sure you, uh, you are being asked this every day. How long will you stay in this government? And you, you feel it's, it's still effective to be there? First of all, we, we enter not as a political deal, but as a... Uh, um, we have... Uh, it was an emergency. Common, it was an emergency. Emergency. It's, it's, a, it's a common how destiny. Long, how yeah, right. we, we how bad, long will this emergency last? We will stay there as long as the circumstances will force us to be there, as long as the, the, the um, experience of Benny Gantz and Eisenkot uh, will be needed to Israel in order to uh, act and to um, 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 come to the right resolution. Uh, we need their knowledge, we need their moderation, we need their patriotism, and uh, we will be there until the moment that we will not be able to influence on the decisions. And I hope that uh, no political uh, attitude or maneuver will, um, will uh, force us to leave the government before we will uh, achieve our main goals in this campaign. Now let's talk about the people of the South, your, uh, your people. Uh, many of them are displaced out of the kibbutzim, out of towns like Sderot and other places. What can be, should be done in order to bring them back and, and talk to me about this process? Some of the places are destroyed. How, how do you come back? First of all, um, each family, each person, each individual, each community should decide upon themselves. Actually, uh, in my community, in Kibbutz Mephalsim, now we're having like a, a questionnaire, a, a poll between all of us, uh, and, and we are asked when you personally will come back. And the answers are spread from right now or in the time when the government and the um, uh, army will will tell us it's it's okay, or when the education um, uh, schools uh, uh, institution will will be um, ready, uh, to the other edge that say no no time we Never. are done with it. Yeah. I think no no not many people will say it, but more more than, than some dozens of people will say, we really want to come back, but we need the right uh, environment. Uh, we, are, we cannot go back and still hear the noise and the sights of, of a battle, battle zone, which is still there, although in the northern part of Gaza, there is no really uh, practical um, organized force of Hamas. We are talking about a generation of kids who grew up there in this area uh, with rockets and sirens and, and whatnot. Will you be able to tell the kids, the younger kids now, that they will grow differently in this area? I think after 23 years, Israel is trying uh, with a great devotion, with a great um, fundamental uh, commitment to change strategically the situation in Gaza for the benefit of Israelis and Palestinians together. Uh, our kids, our uh, family members are fighting and, and sometimes sacrificing themselves in order to change the Gewa strategic situation in, in Gaza where I believe that we will be able to, um, to decrease the, um, the, the practical risk that we are uh, confronting with. And I, I hope that the heart of my uh, friends and neighbors will accept the, the situation that is really on ground, changing from day to day for the good uh, way. Yeah. 
Alan Schuster, Knesset member, on the personal level, I wish you all the best over there. Uh, you are uh, very brave people, and uh, I hope you'll get to see all the uh, people that were abducted to Gaza back with you as soon as possible, and yourselves back at your homes. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Yaakov. Thank you.